So when it's time to invoice, all you need to do is just come here to the family section, invoices and payments, and then generate your invoices. Now, when you generate invoices, as we were saying before, you just select the date that the families will be billed for. Okay, now if you're two weeks in advance, for example, just select that week. So we're currently in the week of the 21st, okay? Let's say I'm billing two weeks in advance. You would bill your families for the 5th, okay? You would then select the 5th to the 11th, okay? You'll get in the habit of doing Monday to Sunday. It'll just become a thing. Um, for my example now, what I've done is I've selected 14 to 20, okay? Because I'm billing one week in arrears. And then I've just selected one family. When you build your families, you can select all families, right? Or you can go and select um, a combination of individual families, okay? And then in owner, we further have a way you can actually categorize these into family tags, okay? So especially for centers that are doing one, like so they're doing some families weekly and some families fortnightly, you might want to generate your invoices using tags. And I will talk about it shortly. Um, basically, you want to um, create a one week period and then you'll select the tag, which is weekly, okay? And then you'll create a fortnightly period and select the tag, which is fortnightly because each family will get a different amount of sessions build. And then obviously your fortnightly families, you won't build them the following week, but you'll build them the week after. Not build them, sorry, you'll invoice them again the week after, right? So you'll be invoicing them on a fortnightly basis. 21 to 27, I choose my family, which in this case is mass. I say that I want it by the end of the week, I don't know, Friday, for example, and then I'll run the report. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. So you'll get that confirmation message that your invoices have been successfully generated. You can run the report below, okay? You click get invoices, and then there you go. You'll be able to see those numbers, okay? And one thing you'll be able to see, so before you saw that the, the family for masses statement was only taken up until the 20th, and that's because I had only invoiced them until the 20th, right? Now, when you look at their statement, right? You'll be able to see that um, it's taken all the way up until the 27th, okay? And that's how the statements keep, you know, going further and further and further into the future. Now, for my example, I'm only going to be using this one here, but that was just a good little um, way to show you live how it works, okay? Any, any payments that haven't been made or any balances that's sitting on the account because of payments that, you know, rejected or the family hasn't paid or there might have been um, a discrepancy where we overestimated or underestimated CCS and the actuals came through and there's a balance sitting on the account, that all gets pulled through automatically. So now I've generated my invoice. Now I wanna show you this guy. So um, I've got my family here, I've got the carried over amount and we saw before if I leave that open on the family statement. So you can see, as we we're saying before, that this is the opening balance. So 65350 is that credit that wasn't applied, okay? Similarly to the question that was just asked, if this was a debit amount of, let's say, as it was up here, right? $300 wasn't paid. That then will go onto the invoice as an opening balance of 300. The next 500 will come in and therefore the family would owe 800, okay? So that's how it all carries over. In this particular case, the carryover is a credit instead of a debit, okay? So that's where we start our invoice at, 65350. And you can see that here as well, okay? And then the amount that's owing is 15150, okay? So the invoice takes into consideration what's happened um, in that period, in this period that we've selected, 14 to 20. And then it gives us a total of 15150, okay? So that's what the family will essentially owe us.